At the Ekamet Clinic in Sierra Leone, patients are waiting for health services they're unable to access anywhere else in the country. This is an advanced medical diagnostic centre, a one-stop shop for life-saving tests and medical investigations. I visited Ecomed before Sierra Leone recorded any cases of COVID-19 and imposed a nationwide lockdown and curfew to stop the spread of the virus. This critical equipment can be found in hospitals around the world, but these are the only machines of their kind in the entire country. The healthcare system in Sierra Leone was obliterated during 10 years of civil war Weaknesses in the health system were further exposed following a devastating outbreak of Ebola in 2014. Critical gaps need to be filled, and in order to do this, both the public and the private healthcare sectors are working hand in hand to improve medical services in the country. Shaku Kamara is attending Ekamed following a referral by his local hospital. He's having his first MRI because he suffered a head trauma. Access isn't easy. There's only one MRI machine in Sierra Leone. I get a little accident when I knock my head. The doctor recommended me to do a standard scan. That's why I came here. So if this facility wasn't here, what would you do? To go to where I can afford it, that will be very expensive, costly travel, hotel, tangled, the facilities here, here, right now. I met Dr. Antero, Ekamed's chief medical director. He says their services are critical as there's a huge gap in health delivery in Sierra Leone. Health is, you know, it's time, time bound. If, if you have a diagnosis, the longer you, you, you know, diagnose is not complete, the, the worst it is for you to recover. So time is, is of the essence when it comes to diagnosis and treatment. Being here is much, much better than having to be flown out, brought back you know, for treatment. So really, the, the, that gap needs to be filled. And we are here trying in that line to fill the gap. Ekamed was founded in 2012 in the capital, Freetown. The mission is to be a leading healthcare provider through using advanced technologies. It was established by Sierra Leonean entrepreneur Giard Swaid. He told me why. There was definitely this need for diagnostic center, a modern diagnostic center in Sierra Leone. Um, generally, people would have to travel to places like Ghana, uh, Nigeria, just for the simple task of having, let's say, a CT scan or an MRI or a proper lab diagnostics. So we felt there's a need for it. Any other project with the same investment would definitely give much bigger returns. So in a sense, uh, you, you feel obligated to provide a needed service, and that also uh, creates a big uh, motivation and, and keeps a momentum. Now, of course, the challenge is how to set up an operation like this and, and keep it sustainable. Uh, because obviously this is a private sector initiative. We know that health comes at a cost, so it all boils down to the purchasing power of, of, of the public. There are a number of challenges. Access to funding is one. Um, getting the right human resource is another one. We are a developing economy and healthcare comes at a cost until we find the right formula. According to Sierra Leone's Ministry of Health and Sanitation, that formula is public-private partnerships. Uh, currently, um, the health delivery services in the country is being provided by government, about 80-85%. Uh, and um, the private sector are basically in bigger cities, in bigger towns, settlements. They are not in the periphery. To improve quality of services, we need to have a participation of, of, of the private sector. And that has been the drive of the government, trying to encourage the private sector to come into, uh, into action so that they can uh, together, come, together provide quality services. Everything is linked to health. If, they are, if you don't have health workforce, you can't uh, think about developing your economy. And therefore, investing in health is paramount. Health is wealth. And with increased access to finance, both the private and public health sectors can grow and offer affordable access to life-saving services like this. 
Since this was filmed, Sierra Leone has imposed a nationwide curfew and lockdown to stop the spread of COVID-19. Ecomed remains open in the face of the global pandemic. In order to continue business operations, adjustments have been made. Services are restricted to only hospital referrals and emergencies, and staff are following protective measures to continue providing specialised services.